you know, you don't want to like keep the trouble you have like held in. You need to let it go. Like when you release release it, like you just feel free. Like I don't know. Like you grow up, you feel better. For the Isle of Here project, we had to bring in an artifact that was sort of representative of ourselves. Something in your life that has made a major impact on you. And you write about it, you, whether you use um, words or, or pictures. The I Live Here project is a way for students to be able to express something that means a lot to them in a very artistic and like meaningful way. It made everyone come closer in a way. It helps people understand each other and brings them together. I felt like I was a part of something bigger than just sitting here in a classroom. Everyone has their little story and it makes you feel more comfortable and I honestly enjoyed it. Throughout my high school career I didn't have the best grades and I didn't really care about school or really anything. I recently got accepted to uh, Fisher College in Boston. I told my father about it and um, he wasn't really proud like I thought he would be and throughout my life he's never, never shown me that I was good enough to be his son. He's always told me that um, I wasn't really going to amount to anything but um, I will succeed and I know I can do it with him without him. I did my project on my two grandfathers. I'm from Albania and I came here when I was two and we haven't been able to visit like a lot throughout the years. I know how much they love me and they want the best for me and I never call them. I just don't want them to like <laughs> to go away, like just get out of my life because it's just, I just don't have enough time. My dad's my best friend, me and him live together. It's just us. When I was a kid, I lived with my mom. One night, she showed up not in the best state, and my dad took my mom to court for custody of me, and he won. And he just tries to be there for me. Having my best friend as my dad has made it a lot easier. I was looking through all my awards from gymnastics, just sitting there, and I was wondering why this was my last one. And it clicked to me that five years ago, I was turning 14, so I was able to get a job, and I had to put my goals aside for my family. I've loved gymnastics ever since I was, I've been a kid, but I haven't competed in years. I'm always told that like the hard times will pay off, but when is that day gonna come? Um, when I was little, I used to have like really bad dreams. My aunt had a bunch of uh, dream catchers in her house, and she gave me one, and I didn't have bad dreams anymore. Now I find that with college coming up and just all of the, the future that I have ahead of me, um, I find that it's my, my future that haunts me and not my dreams. I don't know what I want to be or what's going to happen, but it scares me. All my life, that's who I looked up to was my parents, and they went through a lot. My dad, he grew up in the streets of Boston. He didn't finish school. My mom, her siblings were um, drug addicts. She had nine siblings. Now she's down to four. What they overcame through the 20 years they were married really opens up my eyes. It's just, I love them, I love them dearly. It started in my summer going into my senior year. Um, my mom had dropped the news on me that she was going to separate with my father and the divorce was soon to come after that. He was definitely a role model, someone I looked up to a lot. My mom decided to write me this letter basically explaining like the reasons behind the divorce and I found out that my father did some pretty hurtful things to my mother. He just wasn't the person who I thought he was. I definitely didn't think a lot of what was written in the letter was appropriate. I was just hearing about stuff that I shouldn't with my parents and their relationship and what was going on. But I basically learned who both my parents really were after it. My grandma wrote a letter and it's about how Life is hard, but you have to be determined and motivated to be successful. And so I just wrote a letter responding to her. Dear Grandma, thank you for all you have done, all you have left with me, your knowledge, determination, and passion. You showed me what it was like to have a family. Thank you. I love you. My brother's in jail, and uh, this, this really hit the family hard. He was a football player, and he didn't get to finish high school. A lot of people look at my brother as a bad person, but growing up, watching him play football, that was one of the best things I could ever do. Now every time I step on the field, I definitely have something to prove. He's his own person, but no matter what, he's made me what I am today.
I have never met my dad this past year. I found him on Facebook and he like, he has a whole new family and um, me and my mom messaged him, asked him if he remembered us. On Christmas, we got a message back from his wife that said, hello, leave us alone. He's a married man. I always thought that I would be able to meet him at some point. Now I feel like I can't. I feel like I'd like ruin the family if I came. So, um, then I put it on a snowflake because uh, it snowed on Christmas, so maybe there's a little hope that I'll be able to meet him someday. This is a picture of me when I was a little kid climbing on top of a basketball hoop, which obviously isn't safe, but when you're this age, you don't really notice the bad things around you. The older you get, the more you notice how real things are around you. The more responsibility you feel on yourself to grow up faster. Eventually, I'm not going to have people to lean on like I did when I was younger, and it's just, it scares me sometimes. I chose to talk about my dad in my project. This is a picture of my dad and I, and in the back I wrote him this letter. I will never forget the day you and mom told me that you were not my biological father. I told you that you will always be my dad, my real dad, no matter what. And I'm happy that faith put us together. I love you, and no one will ever break us apart because I will always be your little girl. Throughout my high school career, playing basketball, it was a sport that just aggravated me and caused me to be so frustrated. The last practice that I ever had, I actually ripped my jersey in half. My whole family is big into sports, so when I decided not to play, I was worried that a lot of my family would be disappointed in me. I really don't have a relationship with my father, even though I live with him. I wrote him like a note, and it's like past events that happened. My father doesn't really talk to me at all, and it's hard because I, just, I feel blessed to have a father, but he just doesn't notice me. And I feel so bad for my mom. Like the house is just silent. Do you remember that night mom pulled out the knife at you? Do you remember you pushed me in front of you? Do you remember when mom caught you cheating? Do you know that I'm scared to fall in love because I don't know how to love a man? Do you even see me? Do you care for me? Do you love me? Do you? When I first like found out about the entire I Live Here project, I was just worried a lot about what other people were gonna think. But the class got together and it, we felt more comfortable with one another, so. Everybody has their own different stories. Everybody comes in all shapes and sizes. This I Live Here project really helped me take that step forward into that next life. The I Live Here project, it's made me just see people in a different perspective. This project um, helps you grow up, but it helped me like figure out who I am. As a class, we were definitely coming together because we realized we didn't have much time left. So with this project, everyone kind of opened up and you just got closer with everyone. These projects help you like look back and leave behind everything that has hurt you. It helps you to grow up. After going through this and presenting all these projects, I've also realized that I'm, I am stronger than what I thought I was. A little bolder too. It's senior year, you just, it's your time, you know what I mean? It's your time to realize what you're gonna do, how the type of person you're gonna be. And I've grown so much, so many steps and changes that I've been through to get me to where I am today. I'm honestly proud of it. I live here. 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 By doing this project, it's helped me understand myself better, and I know it's helped other students. You just get a better feel of who you are and who you want to be. I live here. 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 Since we're all going into college, I feel like it's just a step to like move on and leave. And just knowing that you let it all out is a good thing.